Alrighty, well this is uh, how to use Guitar Egg 3 as a plug-in for Audacity. So this is my computer, my guitar, this is my Guitar Rig Session I.O. interface, and there's a black cable in my foot. Alright, so here we have Audacity opened up. Um, first things first, you gotta record your track, so we'll just record something real quick. Um, I just record it straight up, just, this is just, there's nothing going on here. As you can see, it's recording nothing. This is just a clean guitar stage. Alright, so that, we've got it recorded. Now we gotta edit it. Alright, so, take a quick look at the track. Here's our whole track. So, you just highlight the whole thing. You go to Effect. Now, you need to make sure that with Audacity you have the VST plugin enabled. And then over here, this is my computer with the internet. Um, I'm on the Audacity website. So, like, here's the Audacity Home. And here's the Home. And then this, this right here, it says Help. You go to Help. Um, Okay, and the frequently asked questions. So, help, frequently asked questions is right here. And then uh, one of these right here is a section on v install installation and plugins. <clears throat> the one is how do I install VST plugins? You do this, it has this VST enabler folder, you download, you install that. Once that's done, you follow the directions. So you restart your Audacity. With this, now, you once you have your track highlighted, you go to this effect, and then the effect comes down, and then this one way down here. What am I gonna say? It says Native Instruments Software Synthesis. You click on that, and then your Guitar Rig 3 opens up. Beautiful. So now you just pick like how you want it to sound. Your pre-made one, preset, or you can do something else. We'll just get some sort of uh, Marshall 800 thing going on, and you press OK. Now it takes a little bit to transfer the guitar rig model onto the track. And there it is. Okay, so I'll go back. I'm just going to control Z. That's, this is the original. You can hear it. I hope. Okay, we're getting there. Bear with me. Alright, that was just a dry signal. Alright, so now I'm going to highlight it. Go back to Guitar Egg 3. I'll get the volume up here a little bit. Sometimes you get a tree, you get your levels just right. But anyway, so now we're applying the Guitar Egg 3 model, we're just doing the JCM 800. It's done, and then you can listen to it. Yeah, it's pretty high gain and it doesn't sound real good through these speakers I've had, but it does sound pretty darn good as a plugin. So that's a little tutorial on how to use Guitar Rig 3 as a VST plugin in Audacity. Enjoy!